So what's up everybody, this is Peter aka Coding Made Easy coming to you guys with a brand new tutorial series. Uh, so this tutorial series is going to be teaching you the C Sharp language. Now why have I decided to make this tutorial series? Well it's simple. Uh, C Sharp is, uh, is a language uh, created by Microsoft and um, it, it's becoming more and more popular as the years go by. Um, C Sharp uh, is a part of the .NET framework. Uh, you could do a lot of different things with the C Sharp programming language. Um, there's really no limitations, but the the forte or the thing that C Sharp does best is uh, user interface uh, development. That's what I've uh, noticed, and that's what a lot of people really use it for: user interface. Uh, stuff, but you can still use C Sharp for the web, which is uh, increasingly growing every day. Uh, you can use it uh, for game development, whether you're using say XNA, which is now dead, but you can also go to Mono Game, or uh, you can use DirectX or something along those lines. Uh, but there's a lot of things you can do with uh, C Sharp. There's really no uh, limitations that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, uh, so I'm going to be teaching you this language and hopefully uh, you'll enjoy it. Uh, this is the programming language I use every single day at work um, and I really love it. Uh, it's now become my favorite language. Uh, so hopefully you guys will enjoy it too. Uh, so anyways, uh, in order to program um, in C Sharp, we're going to need uh, to use Visual Studio. Now, I should let you note that C Sharp, because it, it is a Microsoft uh, main language, uh, you can probably assume uh, that it will only work on Microsoft on Windows. Uh, so you need a Windows platform. Uh, if, you're, if you don't have a Windows platform, I believe you're basically out of luck. There may be ways to code C Sharp in Mac or Linux, but those ways I do not know of. Uh, so if you have Windows, uh, what I need you to do is uh, type in Visual Studio Community Edition. So the Visual Studio Community Edition is a new uh, uh, edition released um, by Microsoft uh, that allows you to use the full features as long as you have a team of, say, five or less. Uh, but since we're just learning, we're only using it for ourselves, so you can go ahead and download the Community Edition. Uh, I don't need to download it. I have Visual Studio already uh, installed on my machine. Uh, so what I will ask you to do is I'll ask you to pause this video now and wait while the download goes. And once you're done downloading, uh, then you can open a Visual Studio. Uh, so now we have Visual Studio open, and once it's open, what I need you to, what I need you to do is click New Project over here. I already have a click. I've already clicked it, so as you can see, this window is open right here. Or we can go to the File menu and go to New and then New Project. But I have it open right here. And what I'm going to do is go to Visual C Sharp. Now, some people would like to teach C Sharp using a Windows Forms application, which will sort of give you a user interface. Uh, so you'll learn to code C Sharp using the user interface, uh, but I'm not going to teach like that, and and some of you guys might be upset, um, but I I don't believe it's a really good way to learn uh, the user interface while you're learning the language. So we'll learn the core language features, and then I'll make separate tutorials on doing user interface design uh, using um, C Sharp. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Visual C Sharp, and we're going to click a console application and we're going to say YouTube uh, uh, CS for C sharp <clears throat> so I'm just going to change the directory that I save it in and um, yeah So let's wait for this to create the project. Uh, so now we're presented uh, with our project. Now there's some things that you uh, have to note that um, <clears throat> um, are going to be a bit different. Uh, your Visual Studio may have a will probably will have a lighter theme. Uh, you can change the theme if you want um, and blah blah. But I'm not going to go over how to do that. 
as you can see I have different things um, like as you can see these are in uh, gray indicating that they're sort of redundant they are redundant uh, that's because I'm using um, uh, this tool called resharper uh, with uh, Visual Studio and um, it's a very helpful tool when it comes to refactoring code and debugging and blah 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 but um, we're not going to get into that, but if you see anything that's sort of odd that you don't have, it's most likely a tool uh, that I have, um, or an add-in or extension, I should say, that I've added into Visual Studio to help me as a programmer as a whole. Uh, so don't worry if you don't have it. But if you want to know what the tool is, I'll ask in the comment section below and I'll help you out. Um, so anyways, uh, we got our new... Um, uh, program in C sharp. Now we're not going to really write a program. I'm just going to explain uh, the different, uh, uh, explain briefly uh, the different things that come along with the C sharp project. Um, so uh, C sharp isn't C sharp without uh, without classes. So it's a strictly object oriented programming language. And if you don't know what object oriented programming it is, do not worry about it. I'll explain the whole concept of OOP uh, in the future video uh, but with the object oriented programming language every single thing needs to be encapsulated within a class and um, yeah so um, the entry point for a uh, C sharp program is this uh, what we call a main uh, method and this is where all your programs will essentially begin and end. Um, so if we look right here to our right, this is what is called the Solution Explorer. So this will show us all the project files that we have or anything, all the projects we have in our solution and blah, blah, blah. And um, as you can see, this uh, project, uh, the file we're using or editing right now is called project.cs so all C sharp files have the extension uh, .cs and as for references and properties and yada yada the references are the DLLs that we are using within our project uh, we'll learn more about uh, them later or the DLLs libraries blah 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 and the app config, we don't really have to worry about that right now. Uh, but this is just the basic structure of a C sharp program. So in the next tutorial, we'll actually make our first C sharp program. So I hope you're looking forward to that. Thanks, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And bye for now.